From the moment they hear the air raid sirens, it takes these air defence soldiers from Ukraine's National Guard only 15 minutes to climb up onto the roof of this destroyed building so they can keep a lookout for signs of the enemy. From here we can follow the trajectory of missiles that are fired from the Black Sea. We have a very wide perspective. This is a good position. This commander and his men are under orders to remain anonymous. They know of incoming Russian bombardments even before the air raid sirens begin sounding. Every combat position is told about what's been fired, where it's coming from and the speed it's traveling at. My men are spread out over huge distances. I'm in contact with everyone. I give them orders, telling them who should fire and who shouldn't. This surface-to-air rocket launcher dates from the Soviet Union and can bring down missiles within a five-kilometer radius. It was only a week ago that this soldier brought down a missile fired from the Black Sea. Bigger different systems use electronics to work. Computers detect the incoming target before firing and destroying it. Here, our men do everything. Ukraine already has electronic air defense systems. But this commander says the delivery of a U.S. Patriot missile battery could be a game changer. Humans sometimes have to deal with nighttime conditions or bad weather like rain or fog. But this system will be able to detect the targets and destroy them far more efficiently. But he insists one battery won't be enough. One battery is 16 missiles. We'll put four systems around Kyiv. But what about Dnipro, Kharkiv or Zaporizhia? We need them there too. Since October alone, Moscow has carried out nine waves of attacks on energy infrastructure across the country.